Civic Center, and it's December 2nd. This is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan. Sorry I'm a little late on this raid. Uh, I had to back up my shit and get the hell out. Anyway, we were just raided by about 20 officers of the Berkeley Police Department this morning. Excuse me, I just woke up. We came here at about 5.30. Uh, despite the uh, Mayor Aragon's orders, uh, the new mayor, to leave us alone, uh, the uh, Berkeley Police Department saw fit to come out this morning and make a raid. Um, let me get my thoughts together. Uh, most of the people you can see maybe, or on the other side of those lights. Uh, I can't really get a good picture because I've been separated and there's a police tape. But yes. They came out here and raided a camp of approximately 15 people. Um, I don't know if you can see over on the left, but uh, they're putting up uh, fencing, I guess, to uh, try to prevent us to come back for a few hours. But we are committed to staying. Oh, we're not going anywhere <laughs> until we get our demands met. Excuse me, I just woke up. All this despite official approval from the Berkeley City. So it seems like the Berkeley Police Department is uh, a law unto its own. Uh, one thing I can say uh, this morning was the police were extremely helpful. Uh, they even helped me move all my stuff. I don't have much. But uh, the big bag is a tent, and the other stuff is my little stuff, so very little. I try to keep it tight. So right now we got work crews out here. <coughs> they were done awful quickly because there was very little, very little mess other than the mess created by them disturbing us and us having to move so quickly early in the morning. So fuck the police is where I'm at with it. So what can I do? It's really windy out here. And uh, all this, I guess uh, the mayor was supposed to be publicly inaugurated today. And uh, you can bet that we're going to let him have an ear pull. And for those of you just joining us, uh, we're here at the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center, which is the de facto city hall of the city of Berkeley at 2180 Milvia Street, and uh, where I'll be at most of the day. I'm not going anywhere. So, uh, we have some city workers out here. We have the cops trying to guard the perimeter of the corner. Um, I actually chose to be on this side. Bye. The city hall. Yeah, I know. I, I was just wondering, do you have any thoughts? Oh, just a second here. He's got to get it together. He's about as asleep as I am. <laughs> we weren't, to be honest with you guys that are watching, uh, we weren't expecting this raid. Uh, we were under assurances from the mayor that it was okay for us to be there. So hence our our um, unpreparedness for this raid. Uh, this pretty much came out of the blue. And as, as speculation, I don't know if it will do us any good or not, but I think that this raid... Uh, it specifically came from the police department at the city manager's office. So uh, we're asking people, if you're alert and awake, uh, please call the city manager's office at 510... 
I'm trying to get this number right. Hold on. I just remembered it. No, I just forgot. Five one zero nine zero one seven thousand eight. I believe that's the number. Nine zero one seven thousand eight. And the cops came without warning, yeah. So any thoughts, Paul? What? Any thoughts? Yeah. I think it's a fucking sham and a shame. And that was Paul Blake. He's on the police commission. Oh, uh, yeah, we were just raided at approximately 5.30 this morning. Sorry to get the live stream up, but I was busy getting moved on by the ponies. The popo. The Berkeley popo. Hey, at least they weren't beating people up this morning. That's what they like to do. I can't say they were extremely polite. And I even had one officer uh, help me take my tent down and pack it up. So, you know, they might get us to move. It's a kinder, gentler approach, I would say. Uh, not that we're giving any props to the cops, because uh, they weren't supposed to be here this morning. And I do believe that they were acting unilaterally. As we know, the police are usually not under the control of civilian authority. So as far as I'm concerned, it's a strike one for the mayor, Jesse Erwin, uh, the newly elected mayor who was supposed to be a progressive. And basically, he's a liberal. And as we all know, liberals are not to be trusted. So. <coughs> but, um... <coughs> Oh, boy, he took my water. Uh, excuse me. Liberals are not to be trusted. And this is another example why. But personally, I'm not going anywhere. I'm sitting right here. In front of City Hall. And I plan to be as big a pain in the ass as I can be. Fuck the police. Now we got raided. Cops came, told us we had five minutes to move our shit, and that was it. <laughs> now we'll be back. We're not going anywhere, dude. This is like the fourth time we've been raided. It's getting to be a uh, uh, broken record. Uh, to harass us because you know we're political about it you know but we're not going to give up you know will do so uh, yeah we're sitting out here in front of the Martin Luther King Jr. Civic Center. I got paid to sell like a. Are you live too? Yeah, I'm live too. Live? We're both live. <laughs> uh, hey, everybody. <laughs> hey. Right, that's Dan McClellan. He's on the uh, what committee? It's a uh, community action. Okay. Uh, human welfare community action. Any uh, any words for this raid this morning? Um. Well, you know, I spoke to the mayor last night, and he said this wasn't going to happen. So I'm just wondering on whose authority this is going on in. Um, it's really kind of sad. You know, can you imagine waking up, like lying there in bed and saying, God, it's the cold, one of the coldest nights of the year. I think I'll go out and take the blankets off a homeless person. You know, how kind of evil bastard do you have to be? What kind of venal, evil person do you have to be to do this to people? So you're thinking that uh, the authority from this came from the, uh, the chief of police, the Berkeley? I don't know, because I spoke to him. And he said that he wasn't going to, um, that, that he was going by whatever the higher up said. So I don't understand if this was like a little move done by Jim Hines because he's retiring. Or it really, or they, they're lying to me. Yeah, well, I wouldn't put it past the liberals. Yeah, it's not, it's not like it hasn't happened before. <laughs> Many times. Yeah. Oh, we get assurances from liberals. Nothing's going to happen. And then all of a sudden there's tons of police and... At least the cops weren't pushing people around this morning. 
Well, I guess if you're going to look for a plus, you're a good man. You look right. for yourself good. Yeah, they help me take down my tent. I, I try to do that too. Wheel like my stuff really out of there. And to, I keep suggesting coff bring coffee. At least they weren't total assholes. Well. <laughs> yeah, right. That's a good thing, you know. It's yeah. good to look for something positive. Never played. And, uh, I'm not going anywhere. They, they wheeled it right where I needed to I, go. You know, I everything was fine with me until like, Jim Hines said, "Have a nice day." Uh, you know, which is like saying, you know, "F you." Yeah, that's basically what I think too. It's yeah. like a big fuck you from the outgoing administration. Right. You know, and uh, if you want, you know, if you're gonna be like that, you think it's with your smug little smile about wake, you know waking up in the morning and going out and taking the blankets of a disabled person, you for instance, you know, early in the morning. You know, this is one of the coldest nights of the year. I, you know, I wish people could be out here and just feel the biting wind that's out here right now and how cold it is. And um, it's just amazing that, you know, anybody could... Be, there's nothing you could pay me that would make me do that to a person. Nothing. I, I agree. I wouldn't do it either. Nothing. You know, at nothing. least wait until the sun comes up. I'm a poor person, and a lot of that comes from there's a lot that I won't do for money. Uh. Yeah, there's a lot that I will not do for money. Is I will not sell my soul for money, and I'm not going to set put up an example to my sons that you know being a Luciferian is a great way to make a living. No thank you. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Dad. That was Dan uh, McClellan oh. giving his thoughts this morning on this current state of the the Berkeley uh, PD and the homeless situation here, uh, which. Uh, you know, for all intents and purposes here in Berkeley, uh, I would say that the homeless situation is at a crisis point. Uh, when I walk around downtown Berkeley, I see nothing but homeless people, hundreds hundreds of homeless people. I mean, it's not just a few here and a few there, but they're all over the place. Um, you know, the city does try to provide a few services, but uh, these services are pretty much inadequate to serve the population of uh, homeless people here in Berkeley. So. Uh, so it's reached crisis proportion. When you walk down the street, you see people sleeping in doorways. Uh, you see disabled people with wheelchairs sleeping in doorways. You see women. You see people with families. Uh, you know, so uh, you know, Mayor Jesse, he's uh, Aragorn. He's going to have to step it up if he wants to deal with this problem. And it's really, like the Great Depression. Yeah. It's like the Great Depression. It's like you know, the books I used to read, like Grapes of Wrath and things like that, that I thought, wow. It was really horrible what they did to people back then, and, and now it's happening, only it's worse, because back then, the people could at least build a shack somewhere and survive that way, but you can't even do that. Now they just tear anything off of you and put you back on the sidewalk to die. It's like, it's murder. They're murdering people. Yeah, we do have you a lot know of... What? Taking the blankets off people in the cold is murder. You're a murderer. Murder. Uh, Dad, very adamant. I'm trying to maintain a cool head here. Yeah, I'm really pissed, but I'm too asleep to be completely fucking whacked. But yeah, the police were at least nice enough to help me move my stuff. Right here in front of the Berkeley Civic Center. We're not going anywhere. We'll be here all day today. Uh, it is very windy outside, about 50 degrees, 40, 45, 50 degrees, chilly by California standards. Let's check and see if we got any chatters. Hey, Traboris. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, uh, thank you there, Northern Mont guy, uh, for putting us up on Global Occupy News. Uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman Sullivan, uh, reporting from Berkeley, California, at the Martin Luther King Civic Center, uh, which is the de facto city hall here in Berkeley. Thanks a lot for watching and joining us here in the police raid, which, quite frankly, came as a surprise. Uh, as we were assured by the new mayor, Jesse Erwin, that we would not be raided. So obviously these orders came from someplace other than the mayor's office. Um, because if they didn't, and they did come from the mayor's office, he's in the world of shit as far as we're concerned. But uh, we're going to try and stay up as long as possible. Thanks a lot uh, for everybody for watching. Uh, I'll do my best. Looks like the police are going to be leaving here in a minute. You know, and I do apologize for not getting the stream up sooner, uh, but, you know, I'm in the middle of trying to pack up some of my shit and stop and get it the heck out of here. Don't want to lose it, of course. Because if you don't move it, the police will take your property. And they were the DPW or the PW workers, I guess public works is what they call them here in Berkeley. 
Uh, they're all too eager to take your stuff and throw it out in the garbage. So, because uh, you really don't have any, as a homeless person, you really don't have any property rights. So, there you have it. So we've got our pokes. I don't know if you can see, because it's dark out. But uh, we've got a bunch of people there on the opposite corner. In the center of the picture, I'm trying to get to the center. They're uh, sitting on the corner with their stuff piled up. Uh, basically, I think we're just waiting for the police to leave. And uh, once they leave, though, we're going to mass right back here in front of City Hall or Civic Center. This morning, woohoo! Yeah, we'd been at that. We had been uh, camped around the corner in a tent city for approximately 25 days, and again, this came as a pretty much a complete surprise uh, because if I was expecting a raid, I would have been up and more together. Boo! Boo! There's going to be hell to pay, dude. Because we're going to be going after you motherfuckers. You joke. You think we joke. So, and I, for one, will be going after the, the mayor. We're going to be camping out in his office pretty soon, it looks like. You know, and if we have to shut Bart down, well, we'll be shutting Bart down as well uh, for our cause. Uh, maybe I should announce that on the live stream, but that's my feelings. Is that, you know, the police want to come here at 5.30 in the morning. Well, we can certainly up the ante and make it cost them hundreds of thousands of dollars to try and arrest us. And we're more than game. Uh, these raids approximately cost us, I'm just guesstimating here, but the average cop in Berkeley makes about $50 an hour. Uh, you multiply that by 25. Well, anyway, it comes out, I'm not going to do the math, but it comes out to be about 40 fifty thousand dollars that it costs the city of Berkeley to do a raid here early in the morning and even more if someone is injured or by the police because we do plan on suing uh, I didn't see too much stuff personally that uh, that went out so I think everybody was able to recover most of their possessions uh, personally I didn't lose anything except for a bottle of water I could use right now because we're dry <laughs> going off he was trying to take a he was using the bathroom this morning when the cops came he has he's incontinent and uh, when he came the cops were he was like not dressed and he was very upset which he has a reason to be a clear invasion of his privacy uh, poor man can't even use the bathroom in the morning without the police watching Ooh. Battery's getting low, folks. So I'm going to uh, stop the stream for a bit. Um, I will be back up here in a few minutes. 